as you can see, we had a quick change and have some guests joining us here on stage to talk about the Lake Point Veterans Barbecue and Picnic, which is coming up. Uh, first of all, let's start off with introductions. Introduce yourself and work your way down. Thank you. Uh, I'm Bob Tenbosch. I'm the Veterans Ministry Leader. Rob Longo. I'm the Chaplain for the Veterans Ministry. Uh, Jim Greco, Director of Marketing and Sales. So let's start with the Veterans Ministry. What are the origins of the, the ministry? We started about 15 years ago. Uh, there were three of us, myself, um, Dave Trailer, who was an uh, Army veteran in Vietnam, uh, and uh, at that time, Captain uh, Karen Finch. Uh, the three of us started an idea of trying to do something for veterans, uh, primarily uh, in the Lake Orion, Oxford area. Um, we thought it would be kind of cool to just have a picnic, see how that goes. Uh, and we did. And uh, it was uh, my idea to probably to come uh, invite veterans from homeless shelters in the Detroit area. Oh, wow. So we found one, uh, the Michigan Veterans Foundation. Uh, we asked them to come. They did. There were about 30, 40 of them. And there was about 20 of us, so about 50, 60 people. I think we had more volunteers than we had veterans. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and frankly, I thought this is not going to work out too well. <laughs> uh, but uh, after the picnic, I inquired with two of the vets that we invited from Detroit uh, how they liked it, and they absolutely loved it. They were just, uh, just so thankful that we did something for them. Mm -hmm. So that kind of was the inspiration of doing something for veterans in our area. Um, as you can probably imagine, uh, PTSD has its toll on many of veterans, and the, uh, the issue of that is just is staggering. Over 19 million veterans uh, have PTSD. Uh -huh. uh, in Michigan alone, there's probably 118,000 disabled vets, uh, and <clears throat> in 2020, there were more than 6,100 veteran suicides, hmm. uh, which we, you know, it's just heart-wrenching to even hear something like that, but the bottom line is there's no one organization that can handle or even manage all of those elements, PTSD, homelessness, suicide rate, uh, loss of job, uh, financial situation, so we've taken it upon ourselves to try to help in some manner, some way to do that. Hmm. Yeah, just hearing those two words together, homeless and veterans, it's just inexcusable, yeah, it's isn't horrible. it? Yes. Those two words should not go together. Mm -hmm. um, so talk about what happens at the picnic. What, what would someone experience uh, at the picnic? Uh, it's a fun event. It's mm -hmm. a family event. Um, it's free to mm -hmm. veterans and their family. Um, we, we literally have uh, about 100 volunteers that... Uh, put food together uh, in accordance to the Oakland County uh, uh, Department the of Health. Health Department, yes. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, We have a, a, a live DJ, uh, we have a live band, the 2XL Band, which is an outstanding band. Mm -hmm. uh, we have games for them to play, we uh, issue free t-shirts to vets that attend, uh, and we just give them love and hope and uh, just a good time, just to have a, you know, just to have a fun day for their event for one time. Where is this year's picnic taking place? It's going to be on the grounds of Lake Point Community Church, which is on 1550 Drainer Road. Uh, we are on 30 acres of lakefront property, so it's a gorgeous property. Mm. Um, but this year, uh, we're doing something a little bit different uh, in that as uh, we are a, uh, a ministry that is self-sufficient. We, we don't ask for money, so we, we ask for donations. and. If you don't mind, I'd like Jim to maybe talk a little bit about that. Yeah, um, what we're doing, um, we have a t kind of a tiered system um, that worked well for us in our Bolarama, which is a fundraising event that we do to raise money so that we can have the picnic. Uh, it's kind of, it's silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. It's a way of uh, vendors, businesses, people can donate. Um, uh, 200, 600, uh, 1200, and 1400 dollars are the donation sizes. Um, and what we do is we recognize them for helping us with plaques, banners, mm -hmm. 
things like that. Um, they definitely can come to the event. Um, but that's what, we're, that's what I try and do is reach out to the community and all different communities mm -hmm. to get sponsors because um, it's for the vets. Yeah. And um, we've been doing pretty good with it. Um, this tiered system was the first thing we've, it's a new thing that we did this year. And we broke a, a lot of records raising some money, which was really good. But like Bob said, we're self-sufficient. Um, we're not funded by anybody except people that want to help vets. And that's what we're asking. We want to help vets. Uh, these two gentlemen are vets. I'm the son of a Marine Corps veteran. Um, but the passion is there. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll do whatever it takes to help the vets. Uh, we enjoy it. Um, and, and again, if people want to find out more, they can contact Bob through our ministry and then um, we can get with them and talk to them about their business and how we can actually help advertise for them because they want to help us, mm -hmm. we want to help them too. Uh, here locally we have VFW, we have the American Legion. Do you work closely with them at all? Very close. I'm a member of the VFW Post 334, lifetime yeah. member of VFW. Uh, yes, and uh, they will be the honor guard uh, at opening ceremony. Uh, we also work closely with Lake Orion AMVETS and also the Oxford AMVETS. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, also uh, working closely with the Oakland County Vietnam Veterans of America. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, as a matter of fact, they will have, uh, they'll be represented at tables uh, at the picnic for information along with the VA, uh, along with um, Project Brotherhood, which is uh, a suicide prevention uh, group. Uh, the, um, <clears throat> the Oakland County Community College has a student veterans group that will be there. Um, the, um, yeah, there's several different uh, groups that will be there representing their advocacy for veterans and veteran support. Great. Yeah. Now, obviously, we're going to help spread the word on the picnic. If someone were to see this or uh, see our, uh, any promotions, how would, do they reach out? How do they say, hey, I want to come to this picnic? How, what path would they take? Two words. Mm -hmm. Show up. <laughs> it's free. Uh, like I said, we have 30 acres. We could hold a thousand people on our ground, so just just show up. If you're a vet, you're going to get a free T-shirt. Your family will get fed, mm -hmm. uh, and that's exactly what we want to do. Uh, I'd like to expound on the homeless vets, if I will. Uh, sure. uh, we have started with one homeless shelter. These are sanctioned homeless shelters. Uh, we've gone up to now four, and we've just added uh, another group. Uh, they're not homeless, but it's uh, an organization called Michigan homes for veterans out of Chesterfield Township. Uh, and we're excited to, uh, to have them come uh, to the event as well. That's fantastic. Now, what else do you do year round? Uh, I know you focus your efforts on the picnic, but uh, talk about uh, the rest of the year. What does the ministry do to help vets throughout the year? Well, I'm blessed to have a chaplain that uh, has a heart of gold that uh, likes to talk to people and I'd like for our, our chaplain Rob to discuss a little bit about what you do and how you get vets to get involved. Thank you, Bob. Before I speak on that, I would just like to say personally from all of us, thank you very much for yes. what you're doing. Oh, you're putting the you. word out. The community is knowing about it now, and as much as we could say or, or do for them, we need people like you in your facility, and just to broadcast cast this and where whoever hears you. So the more people that hear and see what you're doing will help our ministry out as well. Um, I have a thing. It's first I serve God first, I serve others second, and I serve myself last. So we're, we're servants. So what we need to do and what I always do is I just go out in the community. Um, there's several instances. I went to a Rite Aid pharmacy to get some things and there was a gentleman sitting there with his wife, and I noticed a cap that he's got on. And I always wear a cap when I go out because it opens up dialogue. Um, you could, you know, where you've been, what you do, what you know, what year did you serve, and and then we're able to invite him into this picnic. And at uh, the end of the year, we have a veterans appreciation dinner also. Okay. So um, I, I was talking to him, and then I just thanked him for his service, and I walked out, and I said, "What am I doing? I got to go back and." And, and give them a flyer 
and also I gave him a cross, a disciple's cross. Next time, uh, I was there several other day, the days after that, I was walking out and the gentleman was following me and I have a couple old cars and he just walked right by me, walked right to the car and he's looking around and I said, do you want to open the door? You can look inside. And he said, yeah. And he said, oh, I see you're a veteran. And he says, I am also. So it, it opens up uh, the dialogue and I spoke to him as I was able to give him a flyer and talk to him, invite him to the picnic. Uh, I also belong to a, a group up in Lapeer called the Geezer Brigade, just a bunch of old guys from the Vietnam era. And later, there's two gentlemen there that are 95 years old, wow. and they join us every Wednesday for breakfast. And just the camaraderie, and there was um, four or five police officers, uh, state police officers that were there, and I chatted with them, and I was gonna hand them a flyer and a cross, and I talked to the guy, do you have anybody, uh, you, did anybody serve? And he said, no, but our commander did. So I gave him a cross and I gave him a, a flyer also to invite him and his family. Mm -hmm. So every opportunity uh, that you get, we need to speak up and to speak out about what we're doing and we're doing for the vets when we came home. Um, nobody liked us too much. We had a, a bad rapport with the people. And, but now during Desert Storm and things like that, now people are starting to recognize oh, the sure. veterans and what they've done for this country and what they've sacrificed, right? It's, you know, all gave some, but some gave all. Yeah. And that was their lives and their yeah. families and everything else. Yeah, we have that beautiful memorial here in Lake Orion. Yes. And uh, like you said, times have changed. Uh, people come to that memorial on Memorial Day, Veterans Day, and all that stuff to, to honor those who yes. serve. So I'm, I'm glad that you've witnessed this change of heart from uh, Americans. Yeah, so, it, yeah. It's, it's starting. And I also uh, visit people in hospitals and nursing homes and it was a privilege to go to the American House. A friend of mine uh, works there, and there's several veterans there, and I've, I've got a chance to meet a guy that's 98 years old, and he you know, landed on uh, Omaha Beach, and he showed me some of his medals and uh, some of the shrapnel that he took off of his body and, and his, his uniform, and just to sit there and listen to their stories and pray over them, and just, it's, it, it's a blessing. Yeah. It really is. You know, I've always been told that veterans uh, tend to be reserved and keep their stories to themselves. But I think yeah. one of the services that you provide is when they see the hat and mm -hmm. know that you've had similar experiences that encourages them to open up. And I would imagine when they finally do open up, that's got to be therapeutic for them. Oh, it, it is. I mean, talking about your, you know, nobody really likes to talk about war, right? But when they see a fellow veteran or whatever, it, it just, the, the camaraderie, you know, you just come close together, like being brothers or sisters, and, and um, it's just a, an opportunity uh, presented by God. It's not a coincidence, it's a god mm -hmm. that brings us together and able to share things and bring hope and kindness and just, there's a lot going on within a few minutes that yeah, yeah. you have. One of the uh, beauty of the picnic is that uh, we've gone from 30 to 50 now to uh, over 300 to 400. Wow, yeah. And uh, it's just, uh, it's heartwarming to see the vets sitting around tables eating and uh, being a Navy guy, we, we call it sea stories. So they're just telling their things and their experiences, but I'm sure the Army guys and the Marine guys have uh, many stories to tell. And, and it's just wonderful for them to see them talk and open up and, and just have a good time listening to great music and having some fantastic food. Do those uh, playful rivalries still take place? Of course. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, I mean, we, you know, we have, we, we have to take care of the Marines. Yeah. So yeah. They, they get lost if we, the Navy, don't tell them where to go. You know, when, when you when you do that, we could, we could pick on each other, but don't pick on either one of us, anyone. You know, then we yeah, all yeah. stand together, and that's the way it is. It's the brotherhood. You know, you share something with someone on a battlefield that you can't share anywhere else. Yeah. What are the most pressing needs that you're identifying uh, among the veteran community? Jim, do you want to address that? Well, you know, there's uh, the thing with suicide, that, that, that's a tough thing. Mm -hmm. And it's tough not just on the person that took their life, but it affects the whole family, it affects everybody they know. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess what we're doing is when we show the love at a picnic, because like Bob said, we get three, four, five hundred people and their families coming. Um, and then we have the bowl rama which is our big fundraiser. We're showing a lot of love to people. The dinner that we're going to have the day before Veterans Day, <coughs> excuse me, 
is because a lot of vets can get a dinner at a restaurant. A lot of restaurants do that. Mm -hmm. cool. What we're doing, and uh, with the help of many others, we're going to cook a spectacular dinner for our third year in a row. Uh, we're making my mom's meatloaf, which <laughs> has been requested. Don't change a thing. <coughs> but it's showing the love and respect for what these people, yeah. these men and women have done. Um, it's just a way of reaching out. And, and Bob and Rob here, when we find a, a veteran that's in need of something, oh, gee, uh, he had a heart attack. He can't do any work. These guys, we'll get a group together, mm -hmm. go over there, cut his grass, take care of whatever it takes because mm -hmm. they gave all right yeah. and, and they continue and not being a veteran i still have a lot of passion for helping the vets because my dad was a marine and um it's it's just showing god's love to people yes it the, becomes infectious sorry Jim. the um i think the important aspect of what we do is uh, the money that we raise and we receive uh, we pay it forward yes. uh, mm -hmm. and that uh, is obviously in need like i mentioned before no one organization has the wherewithal to handle all of the situations so i think it's uh it's incumbent on in us to give what we can to various organizations that they need the money they support mm -hmm. their specific needs for their veterans well. So how are you getting the word out? How are you letting these vets know that uh, you're there for them? What, do you have a website, social media presence? Yes, we have a social media. It's called uh, WLOV. We love our vets. Uh, we have flyers. Uh, we have save the date cards that we pass out. Um, and uh, if anybody needs more information, they can contact me at Bob at Ten Bosch, and that's one word, T E N, like 10, B O S C H dot com. And I'll get to the, the literature or whatever is the detail that you need. That's awesome. Now, you mentioned you have a, a Bolorama uh, fundraiser. Um, how can people help support your cause throughout the year? Well, yeah. that's, that's where we get sponsors. Um, the, the bowling alley has 32 lanes and we sell lane sponsorships from businesses. Um, the tiered system worked really well this year. Uh, I mean, even last year, we got 42 lane sponsors and there's only 32 lanes. <laughs> That's where, and when you say, how do we get out there? Bob or Rob does what he does. Bob does what he does. I do what I do. We're out. I oh, mean, no. in our daily lives, mm -hmm. whatever I'm doing, if I can, touch someone, talk to somebody about what we do. We, we live it, we breathe it, mm -hmm. and we express it. So the businesses that, that want to help are getting some really good advertising uh, because the way we do it is for certain donations, we'll make a yard sign with their business logo on it. Uh, another tier, you get the sign and a plaque, okay? You go even further, we make a banner, a three by six foot banner with whatever your company, whatever you want on it, We'll make that for you, just saying thanks for helping support us. And so, it's displayed at every event. Yes, yeah. and we display it at all of our, our events. Um, and we're always looking for new sponsors. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it can be a car dealership, restaurants, uh, it doesn't matter. And just private people. Um, yeah. we, we take donations from anywhere, because like Bob said, we're, we're, we're now self-sufficient. Yeah. We don't get anything other mm -hmm. than donations. Um, it's kind of a year-round thing for me. Um, I'm not retired, but I spend a lot of my free time doing it because I love what we do and what we represent. We're just yeah. helping vets. I mean, yeah. not enough people do. So I'm out there looking for the people that say, I want to help vets. I'll give you the opportunity. Yeah. yeah. And expanding on that, it's just we all need groceries. You go to the grocery store. If you see someone, you know, that has a veteran's hat on, you go up there and thank them for their service. There's an opportunity to invite them to our church, you know, uh, just to attend. But this Bolarama is an extremely important effect on, on us and what it does. Um, the church is, has uh, money that they allocate to uh, the ministries, and we used to receive that every year, but we decided to be just self-reliant, and we're raising that money. And with that money that we raise, we tithe back 10% to our church, oh. right? And that's what you have to do is give back. 
That's you know, great. and God will, you know, just give you an overabundance of whatever's necessary. Okay. Well, Joe, with your permission, if we could come back, uh, maybe in February when uh, we'd be planning our Ebola Rama, which oh, will sure. probably be March, April time frame, we'd uh -huh. greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, oh, definitely. We'd love okay. to have you back yeah. in yeah. love yeah. to come or even back. before yeah. the dinner in November. Yeah. Well, that's right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so we might see you in September. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our door is open. Okay. We're a nonprofit organization. Okay. We like to help our fellow nonprofit organizations in the community. Yeah. So Thank we're you. really glad to help you get the word out. Just to recap, uh, the picnic and barbecue will be taking place on Saturday, July 29th, just a little over a month away at Lake Point Church on West Strainer Road in Oxford yes. uh, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And uh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> well, you could join us as well. We All right, invite absolutely. You. absolutely. We'd love you to and your crew. staff. <laughs> come on. I want to try know. that meatloaf. Today. Yeah, <laughs> that November 10th. It's a Friday. Um, and just to touch on that real quick, is the, the the picnic is for veterans and their family. It's free. Yep. The veterans dinner that we're going to do, it's for a veteran and a guest. It's free but they have to call and make a reservation. Because mm -hmm. the first year we did it, we fed about 140. Last year was 250, wow. and we might max out at about 3, 350 this year. Yeah. But wow. it's a free thing, but you just gotta call and say, hey, it's Joe and, J and Brenda Smith. I was in the Army, reserved two, two seats for us. Done deal, you're in. Yeah. All right. And that's where we're looking for corporate sponsors for that too. Yes. All right. We'll help get the word out. Uh, thanks, guys, for joining me. Uh, thanks, this is yeah. all new to me. It's great to learn about your organization. And uh, we'll do what we can to help help get the word out. Thanks, Thank you, Joe. sir. Thank all you. Right. God thanks bless for, you. Uh, joining us. Thank you. Thank you.